Hello everybody, my name is Hossein Amarkashi and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the app to market version 2.1 and how, how you can take your app inventor applications that were created using AI and then convert them and make them publishable to Android market. As you are aware, the applications that are currently created with App Inventor are not publishable to market and this is where App to, app to Market comes into play. So the very first thing that you need to do is download uh, App to Market. So please go to my site called amarkashi.wordpress.com. Once the page opens, scroll down and you will see a download link. You just click on that and you will download the zip file once the zip file is downloaded just unzip it into any folder and that's all you need to do so you're ready to run the application so this is the structure that you're creating sorry this is the structure that you will initially be presented with so let's click on the run me windows and see what happens run me windows it starts up the application Okay, the application has been started. Uh, there's basically two major tabs here, certificate detail and then uh, the decompile and wrap up. So the very first page is for allowing, for allowing you to create a certificate. Every application that needs to be uploaded to the market, market requires you to digitally sign it. Otherwise, you will not be able to publish it. The digitally signed certificate, it basically is used to identify you and who you are. So no one else can take your applications and uh, upload the same application so this is where this uh, certificate data comes in so let's let's just change the name and I will sh give you some more detail about this uh, page later on so I'm going to change it to John Doe so I will just change the name uh, once you hover over over every one of these data entry fields you are going to be presented with a uh, detailed information on the right hand side on what needs to be done so basically you can change it to match your own information and you give it the key store file name. You can keep the same or you can just change the name to anything that you want, any file name that you want. Give it the password and click on the generate. And shortly you're going to be presented with a, uh, with a dialog box that says, okay, your certificate was generated and from there on you can go to tab number two. okay so your certificate was just generated and this is the certificate file and it's in the folder that was specified over here okay so if you notice I just changed the name so this is very important to save the information that you have so let's go to the file and say save configuration okay so the configuration file was just saved what is the configuration file the configuration file is what is used to set up the data into these data entry fields so because I just saved it let's just close this app to market and then restart it Okay, let's go back to tab number two and you notice that the name that was entered previously is still there so this is for you to preload information into a file called config.txt and the next time that you start up the application it's going to have all your data that was entered in there so this just makes the life a little bit easier for you so once the certificate was generated you don't need to do that anymore this certificate can be used for all of your subsequent applications to digitally sign them so now let's go to tab number two. Tab number two um, is used to take your app inventor applications and then do the decompiling of it and then updating the manifest file and then recompiling it back and making it publishable for Android market. So here you can click on the browse and just point to your APK file, app inventor APK file. So for for just for to get you started and uh, be able to play around with the tool I have included a sample app inventor application you can just select that and the uh, next step is that you can click on the decompile the decompile will go through and please notice over here the name was just changed this name is the name that was assigned in app inventor and 
currently Apple Inventor does not allow you to have spaces in your name so I'm just gonna change this to any new name so I'm gonna call it my new app name this is the name that will, will be displayed to the users or when they download your uh, your your application to their phone so some other information is that you can give it a version number and notice when I click on up for example make it to version number two the version name also changes you also have the ability to save this data or change this data as needed the, there is a minimum SDK version um, the orientation orientation for example you, let's say that you want to lock you the orientation to portrait so you click on that so when the users they um, change the font to landscape or oriented it will it will not change the orientation for it you can also say that if you want it to be able if if the application should be installed onto the SD card or not by default right now it's auto okay so there is also the screen you can remove the title bar or the action bar so let's look at and see what the title bar and the full type no title bar and full screen means so let's go back to my blog site look at this window right here this image okay so this is the title bar and over here we have the action bar going back to the app to market that corresponds to these options that you see in the drop down no title bar or no title bar full screen these are for people who have a game and they don't they want the application to be displayed fully in uh, in the um, in the device so the default is with action bar you give it a name let's say that you have an application that you want to be able to run on the larger screens so this is where the screen comes in the default right now is no so you can click on the slider and drag it to the right hand side and change it so for example right now this means any density that means it should resize automatically to the larger tablet side the normal is the normal screen side the default I mean is normal so let's change that to normal oh uh, let's go back to this any density please so when we go back to any density you should change this resizable to yes that means it should automatically resize your app to the larger screen and for minimum SDK version you should have a minimum of five okay so for the time being let's just change this back to a minimum SDK 3 resizable to no put it back onto normal so with this information let's do the update manifest and create new APK so I select that okay so my application was just decompiled the app inventor application was after after it was decompiled it was uh, the manifest file was updated all the relevant information was put there and it was recompiled back to a publishable uh, APK file but before we publish it we have to digitally sign it so this is where the sign comes in so click on the sign and the sign is going to take the, the certificate that you had created over here the certificate file and it's going to use that to sign your application so you click on sign okay so your application was not signed and you're actually ready to publish your your application to the market but it's recommended that you zip align it you also see an option now that's highlighted and it says verify the verify is the optional step that you can just make sure that your application was signed properly so I can click on the verify so it says yes the jar was verified so after the verification I can do a zip align click on the zip align and that's it it says now you're ready to publish and uh, this is the file that's going to be published to the Android market so let's let's just see what happened in these steps first we create a key store file and this needs to be done only a one timer and all of your all of your application you can sign them using the same certificate here we save your configuration file from the file save config this is very important to save the configuration file so next time you will be able to uh, if you have an upgrade you can use the same configuration file then we went to step number two we selected our APK file and we went through the number steps here so what app to market does is that it, it uses convention naming conventions 
So the folder that we started with for the naming for the application was, this is the file that we started with. After we decompiled and recompiled it and, and signed it over here, this file was created. So basically it had the same name, but now it, uh, after the decompiling and recompiling it back, it, it, it's the same name and with the suffix of underscore new. After we zip aligned it, it took that file right here and it zip aligned it and now it has a zip aligned suffix to it. And this is the file that we are going to publish to the market. Why do we need to zip align to zip align the file? That's because we get a better performance when it is uh, uploaded, when, when it's downloaded to the user interface and they play with the um, uh, with your game. Okay, so we are ready. So let's go and try publishing this to Android Market. Okay, so so I have already signed into my developer account. So let's try to actually go with the file that was originally created with App Inventor and let's see if that one publishes into Android Market. So this is the original file. So let's just select that and try to upload it. So the market should come back. Okay, so the market just came back and told, it's basically telling you that no, I cannot upload this and this is not publishable. So now let's change it. And this is the zip align file. So let's select that one, try to upload now. taking his time okay so this is the application that was uploaded notice that you have the icon here and this is the new app name that we had changed and these are the version name and version code that we had given it so that's basically it you can just go ahead and fill in the rest of the information and publish and you're ready to go I hope this application is useful to you and if you find the application useful, please don't forget to go to my website here, amarkashi.wordpress.com. I put my updates over here and uh, if you want to leave a feedback for me, that would be appreciated. You can click on this button here and view the feedbacks or give me a feedback. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.